I'm happy with this. Oh wow, Brain Piercer, okay. Oh, that's beautiful, that's such a clean ending. Hey guys, I hope you've all had a great weekend. Um, if you're chasing any Cecil, Kane, Rosa shards, or you know, your Elven Bow, or the uh, Wind Spear, I hope you're having good luck with that. Um, that being said, I finally maxed my cane. He's 99 with, um, I've got Odin resonated on him right now. Uh, Paladin sub, 50 faith of course to get the Bells proc. I have him with Bells because he's going to be my main attacker in this group here. He's got Demon Wall, it's not maxed, it's only level 85, so it's a, a Awaken 3. And, uh, and yeah, so all his relevant skills are maxed. My thoughts on him so far, he's good, he's a great unit, I don't think he's meta you know, changing or world breaking. Um, I'm gonna do a second part of this video once I have the max wind spear and once I max demon wall, because as we've seen with gold stern, you know, like a, a plus five rune blade and a max exorcist card is a difference from gold stern being a good unit to being a fantastic, you know, game breaking unit. So uh, same with Orlando and his coral sword and now Iagion with a new buff. So I want to show you just kind of the base unit came himself. Since you get an 8 slash resist from Odin and Demon Wall, I've gone a whole slash kind of uh, countering party here. I've got Glacella in the mix with her own TMR that gives her 15% slash, plus Siren with max slash on it. The third unit is a toss up. I've done a few tests so far. Um, nobody seems to fit this team really well as a third. The Warrior of Light is a, a good stand in, he's a solid tank, but um, it only seems to be somebody more mobile. And something maybe with a little bit of heals, but I don't have any sort of um, tanky enough mobile healer. Halloween Leela is <laughs> not good with this team. I have tried it, but she can't keep up with Kane and Glacella here. So we're going to do some tests with Warrior of Light, and uh, we're just going to choose some slash parties, and we're going to hunt them down. So I'll show you guys what I've kind of been working with here. Click the first one we see. That's got a missile in there. Okay, this is this is a standard slash party. We've got two bruisers and a healer. So we're gonna give this a shot and see how we do here. Now, <clears throat> um, so with Kane, I have to turn off Sentinel. I want him to use Bells first turn and then Immortal Spirit the second turn. Um, or maybe I haven't turned off Sentinel. I've done tests with both, but that's the ideal goal, right? Immortal Spirit, so he has Courage or Guts, whatever the buff is, and then Revitalize from the Bells. Glacella, uh, Glacella has a fantastic kit on paper, but her AI seems a little too clunky to use it. She's always the first into the fray. She can be like a, almost a silver bullet, right? You just throw her right in the middle, get a good leap strike off, kill maybe even one of them and damage two, like, like this here, damage two. But by the time anybody else gets to her, she's going to be dead. So, and they're full healed again. So there's Ayaka's uh, TMR. Now... I think I'm going to turn off her Shikushki to kind of negate that a little bit and give her Shadow Runner. That way it takes her maybe another turn to get to the fray. That could be good for my team so they catch up. Um, and I've noticed that even against full of aid units, she doesn't want to use her Surefire Burst over anything else. So she's a little bit of an awkward unit, but I really like it. I really wanted to work with Kane here. So as far as third units, I've tried a lot of nice. Good damage there. As far as third units, I've tried... Halloween Lila, I've tried uh, Kill Fade, and I've tried Skahal even for Quicken, but none of them are quite quick enough to cast any buffs to help out the team, uh, especially on this map with, with the jump 4 from Kane and in Glacialis Kid as well. It seems like, you know, they, they have high agility, so they'll start first and they get, oh nice, Zombie and Rara you too. That was a good match. They did really well there, we didn't take a lot of damage, I'm happy with that. Um, what was I saying? Oh, it seems like like nobody can really keep up well enough to even buff on the first turn. My idea with Skahal was to have a good mage to kind of get a third, uh, second damage type in there, as well as Quicken. But they're 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 far gone before he gets within range to Quicken. We're gonna try again here. Um, first, I do want to turn off. We're gonna try something. We're gonna move Glacella to the front, and no, we'll keep her where she is. Keep Glacella right where she is because she's fast. And we're going to turn on Shadow Runner instead of Shikuchki. So they, hopefully she'll get there at the same time now as Kane. Uh, this is a fine party. There is a Piercer, but two Slashers and a Piercer. Sure, why not? 
We have good general defense anyways on Warrior of Light, so the Pierce shouldn't be too much of a problem. And it's very rare to see Glacella built completely, um, you know, glass cannon. So I'm not too worried about that being the case there. Okay, let's see what she does on the first turn now. I'm hoping this way she gets two buffs even. All she really has time to cast for otherwise is her own TMR, where she gets a slash for this, Warming Vitality there. Since her team isn't too mobile, she'll definitely get... Um, the defense pierce cast off it looks like i don't think she'll be within range to actually do a leap Thanks. strike I owe you one. unless their glacella just kind of runs forward yes yeah, perfect so war remains acuity so now she'll have defense piercing i think i like her with that buff better um and hopefully kane goes forward here okay we're kind of clustered a little bit which i don't care for the enemy. oh one more square no two more squares that would have been a really good leap strike I'm happy with Glacella's timing now. She's a lot closer to the team. They're going to attack right after her. I don't think she'll die. Good counters thing. My bravery is always so low. Um, you know, when you're running things on auto so much, you, you tend to die. It's hard to keep up. Oh my god, two counter strings. I love it. Sting, brother. Uh, Glacella is a one-man army there. She killed all three. That's beautiful. Um, it's hard to keep up with bravery. And, you know, faith is just a pain to raise until we get the... Um, the change to the guild, what's it called, the barracks, uh, where you can kind of keep faith where you want it. They're both honestly a really annoying mechanic. I wish you could, you know, have a faster way to level them. Kane's TMR on auto might be a good way to always keep your bravery really high, but I am happy with this setup so far. So we're gonna keep that and we're gonna try again. I want a high rank here, 105. Um, okay, this should be a good showcase. To, uh, it's same kind of uh, team here. Two slashers and a piercer. We have Cecil and Orlando. Orlando's been a very strong unit with his uh, Ayagayan buff. I think it's Ayagayan that gives him the lightning, right? Yes, I think it is. Because I have it from my Howlet, but I don't have Orlando. That's one hype train I probably should have hopped on. <laughs> he just served the wall for so long. Okay, let's see here. I'll do away with these enemy forces. Let's I'm really go. hoping for our last fight after this we can find a gold stern. I want to see kind of how we test against a, a, a high damage slash, really high. Good supportive, okay. Now I've seen that skill take almost 1400 health off of a Cecil, so I wonder if it's based on a percentage of his health, or if this Cecil just doesn't have a fully leveled uh, version of that skill. A lot of damage from Orlando, he must have a damage card. Will Kane one hit Kane? That's what we want to know. Okay, not my cane anyways. Well, his one hit mine. <laughs> That's a good trade. I like that. Good stop from Warrior of Light. I feel like, uh, oh, nice. Okay. I do a little more damage. Great. Good. I'm happy with this. Oh, wow. Brain Piercer. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. That's such a clean ending. Okay. I actually haven't seen him use Brain Piercer before. It's a rare skill to get uh, in a range of, I guess. But that was beautiful. So, okay, so Glacella without her Shikuchki in this map isn't too bad. The Leap Strike gives her enough mobility to kind of get ahead, but with Shikuchki, she just flies into the map. It's like, you know, praying. You're praying for a one hit. Ah, oh, perfect. Your will's turn. Please be... Okay, I can work with that. Again, we, we fought through the same, uh, um, you know, comps here. Two Slashers and a Pierce. He's got a crazy high total. I'm not surprised if we lose this one here. Um, I wonder who's going to have the bells. I'm thinking he's going to put them on Gold Stern, but Kane is a little more mobile in Snap. I don't think uh, uh, Gold Stern has four jump or four move, so he'll have two turns of buff rather than Kane's potential one, or even three from Gold Stern and two from Kane. So maybe he'll have the bells on Kane actually. We'll see. Okay, bells on Gold Stern. My my initial. Uh, Okay, I'm happy with that. I wonder if Cecil has Vow of Love. I don't know where my units are going to lie. Okay, so there's 1400. So the last Cecil might not have had a max. I wonder where my units are going to gravitate towards. It looks like Cecil. That's a hazard crusher. Okay, I'm actually happy with that. That's usually a very high damage skill, so I'm happy with that being the case. Oh, Jesus. What happened there? He must have a max uh, card that I don't. Okay, the stop on... <laughs> to stop on uh, Goldstern, I'm happy with. And this is a loss, I'm gonna say. Yes, this is a loss. Mm -hmm. His uh, 
his cane had the time to cast guts, mine didn't. Interesting. He was saintly healing himself. He doesn't have it turned off, eh? Okay. He might be able to turn this around, but I doubt it. He still hits pretty hard. Yes, okay. Well, still a good try nonetheless. Um, I wonder why his game hit so much harder than mine. It's a large modifier on his uh, dragon's bane, or is it rake? His limit break has a large modifier, large damage modifier. Piercing lance has small, I think, but it is the pierce down, so... What's Kate, uh, Kane's innate pierce for this, anyways? I haven't looked. Okay, so he has five with his uh, Viking lore or whatever. Does that bring his... No, which is the one that drops his uh, defense? Oh, it's defense, though. It's not like self-sacrifice. It doesn't drop his resistances. Either way, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with uh, with this team here, the way it's set up. Glacial with Shadowrunner seems to hold in her spot. And um, to be honest, if you just stay away from piercers and you go for the classic either three bruiser slashers or two bruiser slashers and a healer, one tank uh, uh, slash DPS and a healer. You should win all those matches, no problem. Um, I aim to do a part two in maybe two or three days when I have the uh, UR plus five wind spear max and demon wall max by then to see if it makes a huge difference for Kane. But uh, all in all, he is a great unit. He's got a good kit. I do wish he would use Bloodlance more. We didn't get any good examples of what he should use it in this one here, but uh, he tends to prioritize Brain Piercer, or sorry, Piercing Lance over Bloodlance, even if um, even if he's low health. So I don't know if that's an Immortal Spirit thing, but we'll figure it out. Anyways, good luck with your polling. Thanks for watching the video, and I hope you got a good showcase on uh, on how you can kind of build Kane and what teams he's good in, and uh, just an idea of how to use him to his best capability. So have a great week guys, and I'll see you next time.